Hello viewers, welcome back. I'm going to share a small tip, especially for Java developers as part of this video. You might have come across to work with different uh, applications which are developed using different Java versions. I have faced a similar kind of uh, situation in my previous project. I have one application uh, developed using Java 8 version, another one using Java 11. So while compiling your Java code, you know, you had to switch between two different versions and need to compile the specific Java code belongs to that application. So it's really a hassle, right? If you are having multiple applications which are developed using multiple Java versions and you need to find the location of where this particular Java version is installed and you need to run the export command. So it's a really hassle, right? So. I felt very hassle and I found a solution uh, from internet. So I want to share that uh, tip to you. Mm, let's get into that. Yeah. Currently, you know, if you have three multiple, uh, three Java versions on your laptop, so maybe Java 8 or 10 and 11, so you have to find the location of where this particular Java versions are installed on your laptop. Basically, I'm going to uh, suggest you. Actually, my laptop is a Mac OS, so please uh, consider this one Mac OS users. Let me see what kind of version I have currently. So I have Java 11 version currently. This is the default one. And to know which, how to know how many versions are installed on my laptop. So for this, you need to come run this command. So it will show you how many. I have currently two versions installed on my laptop. This is Mac OS. So 11 and 1.8 so we need to note down this version numbers especially and we need to add this specific version number to the commands that I'm going to share with you now so so I have this alias commands you need to ensure that you will add exactly the same version number that has been shown here copy this And so 11, you have to make sure that you have to, you are going to copy the exact number here, otherwise it will not work. So these lines, we are going to add it to G shell RC profile. I'm using my terminal window that is configured with this shell or C and I don't know whether you are using this but even still you know when you have bash profile you need to add these commands to your bash profile and you need to run the bash profile command then it will be configured automatically so for as part of this I need to modify the G shell or C profile on my laptop for this I'm going to modify the G shell or C I'll go down just I would like to add at the end that's it copy these two lines paste and save it done and I need to run the source bash profile command and you need to close 
this and also you need to exit once completely from your terminal window and restart it let me maximize it for better view see now java version still it is java 11 so i'm going to run just if now it is a java 11 version is it now i'm going to change it to java 8 for this just run the j8 command see now it is switched to j8 java 8 version to ensure you can see run the java version command now it is defaulted to java 8 version and to switch to java 11 just j11 once run the java version command see it's very simple you know so we are going to use actually this alias key this is the alias key using this alias key you are going to switch between different java versions yeah it's very simple right so yeah it will avoid the a lot of a headache on your mind while you are working with uh, multiple java versions so you can easily switch between different version using these changes done to your command line g shell or c profile so if you like this tip please like my video and comment if you have better ideas or yeah thank you